Welcome back to our project where we're learning how to write HTML code and using the United States Constitution as our text to work with. So far we've been able to mark up all of our content with HTML tags, but now we need to create links that will enable us to jump to each of the different articles. We're going to start with Article 1. What we need to do is to retract are to fold these articles so they're much smaller to work with. I'm going to do that by coming across from the opening article tag for Article 1. Close to the line number, you'll see a down arrow, and you'll click it. And that's folded, Article 1. We'll do the same with the article tag for Article 2, and Article 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7. So all of our articles are now folded. Now when the browser looks at our code and tries to render it, the browser has no way of knowing any differences between each of those different article tags. What we need to do is to give those articles a unique name so the browser will be able to distinguish them. So what we want to do is to come in here, right after where it says article in that opening article tag, press the spacebar, type ID equals in your quotation marks, and we'll just call it article one. Control S to save that. Now, what we've done is that we've created an attribute. The ID here is an attribute for this first opening article tag. An attribute is a feature of HTML that allows us to give more information about that element to the browser. And what we're doing with the ID tag here, ID is an attribute that can be used to give an element a name. And we're calling these things article, then followed by their number. The value that we put inside these quotation marks for the ID has to be unique. So we can't use the same name for all of these. Each one has to be unique. So let's go ahead and give now a name to all of these other articles. What I'm going to do is just begin with Article 2, since we already have Article 1 named. And so I select from the less than symbol all the way through the final E in article. And then I'm going to press Control D six times to select the other six articles. And then I'll press the right arrow key on my keyboard, making sure that the insertion point is after that final E in all of those article names. You can see the multiple cursors flashing. Press the space bar and type ID equals quotation mark and then type article and then you'll press escape. You may have to hit it twice to get out of multi cursor mode and you can see now that we've given ID equals article to all of these. We simply need to come down through here now and right after that final E and before that quotation mark let's type in the number of that article. Okay, we've given numbers now to all of our articles. All of them have an attribute that's giving them a unique name. So now when we ask the browser to do something special with perhaps one of these articles, it'll be able to do that. So we're creating links here to fragments or to individual parts of a document. And the process of creating links to fragments, or what we might call fragment links, the process is a two-step process. The first is we have to ID our targets. So if I wanted to be able to search for Article 1, then this opening article tag here becomes the target that the browser is going to be looking for. And what I've done is given this a name with this attribute ID. In other words, I have targeted this as my destination and I've given an ID to this target. 
and that is step one of the process. ID the target. The second step is to link to the ID. So step one is ID the target. Step two is to create a link to the IDs. And we're going to create those links up here right under the body section. We'll create a nav section. Nav is an element in HTML for holding a collection of links that enable the user to browse through the pages. And we're going to use Emmet here to create an anchor tag that is used to create links. So I'm going to type the A symbol for an anchor tag, and then opening curly brace, article dollars. And I'll explain these things in a minute. Okay, so there is the string of text that you need to be writing. The A says, let's start with an anchor tag. And then inside of that anchor tag, before that final closing anchor tag, we're going to have the word article. And then the dollar symbol tells Emmett to place a number there. And then the square bracket is telling Emmett that right after this anchor tag, that we want to have an attribute called href, href, the hypertext reference is going to be the attribute. And then we type in there that this href equals, and then there's that hash symbol. The hash symbol is always going to be identified with the ID. So anytime you see the letters ID, you can always think of this hash symbol as being the same thing. And so what I've told it to do is to find the ID that has article, and then there will be a number at the end of that. And then I'm telling Emmett to do that seven times. So I'll press Enter, and you can see that Emmett has now created these. And unfortunately, Emmett puts them all on one line. So I'm going to find something unique in each of these. And in this case, it's real easy. I can just select the less than forward slash a greater than. This is the final a tag in all of these. I'm going to hit control D six times. So I'm going to cause a new line to be entered after all of these. And I only need to do that after the first six. So I select them all and then press the right arrow, making sure that the insertion point is at the end of the selection. Press enter. And that places them all on an individual line. Hit escape a couple of times. Make sure you're out of multi-cursor mode. And then select all of these and tab over twice to make sure that they indent inside the nav section. Control S to save. Come over to your browser. You may have to scroll to see the very top line. But there you will see Article 1, Article 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now, the problem here is one of just looks, or you might call it aesthetics. We think in terms of web design as making the page at least pretty, certainly functional. And so Article 1, Article 2, they're so close together. It'd be easy if you weren't real careful to click on the wrong one. So what we want to do is put space between them. And we can't do it just by coming in here like after Article 1 and Tapping a whole bunch of spaces, Control S, and see the browser just ignores all of those empty spaces, even though they're inside the anchor tag itself. So we come here right after the closing anchor tag, and since I'm going to do this to the first six of these, I'm going to go ahead and highlight and select that first closing anchor tag. Control D six times to select those first six. Press the right arrow key, making sure I'm at the very far right edge of that selection. And then I'm going to type non-breaking space, which is the ampersand NB SP semicolon. Let's do that twice. And then right after that second one, we're going to hold down the shift key and press the key that's just above the right 
enter key. We call that a pipe. That vertical line is called a pipe. And we're going to put that those two non-breaking spaces on there again. Hit escape twice to get out of multi-edit mode and control S to save and you'll see now that we have space and a vertical line between each of these. I should be able now to click on article 7 and jump straight to article 7. It works. Whenever you create links always run through them and make sure that every one of them is working just the way that you've intended.